Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to my messy workshop. I have a really simple project today. My daughter has an insurance agency here in Michigan and she has a lot of business cards out on her desk. So I ordered a kit from Penn State and all it is is just a couple little brass standoffs that screw to a piece of wood. There's two of them and it holds business cards. So I searched through my scrap wood pile and they came up with a nice piece of walnut. Uh, it is about five and a half inches long, about three inches wide, and about three eighths of an inch thick. I've got it all sanded down nice. So stick around and we'll put this kit together. What I've done so far is I've taken my piece of walnut and I've put masking tape on both sides. The main reason is that I don't have a white pencil and a black pencil doesn't show up that well on walnut. And when I drill the holes for the screws that hold these pieces in, uh, I don't want any blowout on the back. So what I've done is I've marked the center line. I've marked three and a half inches, which is the width of a, uh, a business card. Then I've come over three sixteenths of an inch. And that's for the screw that goes into the bottom of this little brass standoff. And so I'm just going to take my center punch and mark where I want to drill my hole. And then I'll take it over to the drill press, drill press, drill my holes. And then on the back side, after I drill through, I'm going to drill a counter bore that's big enough for the head of these screws so that they sink below the surface. So uh, we'll go over to the drill press next. I took my screw to the screw guide and found out that it is a perfect fit for 530 seconds. So that's the size drill bit I have in my drill press. And we'll just drill a couple 530 seconds holes. Perfect fit. Now the next thing I have to do is find out what size of a counter bore for the bottom I have to do. So I'll go back to my drill gauge and it looks like uh, 930 seconds is perfect. So I'll switch out to a 930 seconds bit and I'll be right back. Well I had a 930 seconds drill bit in my drill press and I was I drilled a test hole and the head of this screw would go in it but it was awful tight so I decided what to do was to go up a size and play it safe and that way I had a little wiggle room in case my holes were off a little bit so I went up to a 5 16 inch bit and now we'll do a counter bore. and that's a perfect fit now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it together, test fit everything. If everything's fine, then I'm going to put on some shellac. Now I'm just going to try trial fit everything. Make sure that uh, all the parts fit and I have enough clearance for everything. And if everything fits, then I'll take it back apart and put some shellac on this. And that's what it looks like. So uh, now that I know that everything fits, everything lines up, I'll go ahead and take these back off, give it a couple coats of shellac, and uh, I'll be back. This is just plain old shellac as it comes out of the can. Nothing special. I don't mix my own. I just use uh, just bullseye shellac, the way, the way you get at the big box store. I'll probably put on, oh, I don't know, maybe four or five coats of this. I like the way shellac looks on walnut. It really brings out the grain and the, the character of the wood. So uh, like I say, I'll put on a few coats. I'll sand lightly in between. It dries really fast. So I'm sure I can uh, get a few coats on tonight with no problem. The finish is applied. I put on, oh, 
I think about four coats of shellac, and then I took a Scotch Brite pad. It's a medium Scotch Brite pad, and I just enough to take the sheen down and smooth it out, get out rid of all the any dust that was on it or anything. It really came out nice. I'm real happy with it. So now all I have to do is put my business card holders back on. And there we go. Now the only other thing I'm going to do is I have some little clear bumpers. And I'm going to put one on each corner in the bottom so that it won't slide around on the desk. And there we go. Put some cards in it. Now if I would have had some of my daughter's business cards, I would have put them in there. And she could have got some free advertising. But since all I have is my own, I'll put mine in there for Paul's Messy Workshop. Well, this was such an easy project. As you saw, I got the little standoffs. And then you can use any piece of wood you want. Make it any design you want. If you're interested, the part number at Penn State Industries is D-A-B-C-H. One. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, how about give me a thumbs up? If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down, but I'd appreciate it if you'd leave me a comment in that case and tell me what you didn't like about it. You can also leave a comment if you liked it. Uh, I replied to all my comments. Uh, if you have any questions, you can email me. My email address is down in the description. And I sure appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. So until next time, this is Paul's Messy Workshop, and it's still messy.